Hello friends of Faith Before Fitness. Today is day 30 of our 100 day corrective exercise and scripture reading challenge. How's your posture today? Well, if it's a little bit lacking, our exercise is going to address our physical posture and our two verses are going to address our spiritual posture. So we're going to get right into Mark eleven twenty five, and that says, Mark eleven twenty five says, and when you stand praying, if you hold anything against anyone, forgive him so that your father in heaven may forgive you your sins. So I know forgiveness is a hard thing. Relationships are difficult, um, except our world is made up of relationships and we as humans, we love to fight. Somehow we always end up scrapping with each other. So um, humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord and he will lift you up. <laughs> so if you have an issue that you are holding forgiveness inside and you're not giving it out, it might be hard for you to have true prayer with God because that might be getting in the way. So think about who you might need to forgive today and think about who you might need to apologize to today. Um, and then see if that happens, if your prayer life becomes better. All right, so our next one is 1 Timothy 2.8. So let's get there. 1 Timothy 2.8. I want men everywhere to lift up holy hands in prayer without anger or disputing. Now, please don't get hung up on the situation that it says men. If you want to say men and women everywhere, you can think that too. Um, if you really want to say men, women, they, them. <laughs> hey, I have they, them friends. Whatever you identify with, you can say that, but don't get hung up on the word men and not want to hear this verse. I want everyone everywhere to lift up holy hands in prayer without anger or disputing. Okay, we dispute about so many things. We have anger about so many things, but when we hold on to that anger, when we choose to live in ridiculous disputes, it will get in the way of prayer. Um, it will get in the way of our witness. It will get in the way of our love towards others. And the way to show the gospel to others is through love. And it's very hard to show love when you're remaining in disputes with others. So holding up holy hands and <laughs> loving one another. Okay, so that's going to bring us into our movement of the day. So this one is the arrow pool. You can do it with a band, but I'm not taking any excuses. You can do this without a band. Now, I like to do this one. You can do it on your knees if you have healthy knees, and this is going to cause you to use more core as you do this movement. So you're going to raise your hands up, pull, take it back, pull, take it back, and take it down. Now this is if you don't have any thing to use, you're still gonna get a workout. And I'm gonna show you it from the back to show you that you can still get a posture workout with this exercise without even using a band. So here we go, we're gonna take it up, pull, and really contract your scapula as if you're pulling something. And that way, if you don't have a band, you're still going to get exercise here. Now this is also a workout for your posture. So you want to do this exercise with your head against the wall. All right. And I'm going to tuck my pelvis in because I struggle with that anterior pelvic tilt. I'm going to make sure I've got that going on. Inhale. We're going to bring our arms up, pull back, out, pull back, out, and down. All right, now I'm going to show it to you with the band. So you can do this one standing, you can do it on your knees. 
So we're gonna do a pull here, out, out, and down. Up, pull, pull, and down. Now I'll show you that from the back. Up, pull, pull, and down. Inhale, and exhale, and down. And then I'm gonna show you that against the wall. We're getting set up. Put your head back against the wall because that's going to help with your posture. Take it up, pull, pull, and down, up, pull, pull, and down. All right, this is a corrective exercise move. So we're doing 15. So you can maybe do one, one, and down. Two, two, and down. And that's how you'll count it. So it'll take a while to get through that set. So that's why we're not going through the whole set. And I hope you will do this one. It will start to strengthen your shoulders, your rotator cuff. It'll help your posture and all that good stuff. So I will be back tomorrow, day 31, for another weak muscle and another scripture. So I'm hoping that you will forgive someone today if you need to forgive someone. And I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good day. Thanks.